Well, uh... I was gonna finish all of them off before I did... Whatever. Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal! I'm Slim Matheson. Last time we got here to Mementos, where we're gonna be doing a lot. And this time we're going to be doing a lot. But first we gotta go and talk with the twins. We've got Alexis with Tetraja. Yes. Was our next one that we needed. Um... Honestly, I don't yeah. really... So, this is the one, uh, the one confidant that I'm not going to have a write-up on. I'll just say that right away. There's not, I don't really see much of a story with this one. Um, especially one that doesn't, just, I'll, so, a lot of this really ties in with the story of the full game. Um, a lot of the stuff with the twins, so, right. yeah. Um. Listen up, inmate. So, yeah, uh, Lexa uh, Traja. Okay. And then, uh, Hekakun Kiris with a Masakuna. I do have the Masakuna already. We will get rid of Tarakaja. Now we just what? talk to them. Huh. It would seem. You can do it. Hmm. Not many tasks left. Might be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. You know, thanks to you, I'm actually starting to look forward to seeing what happens. <sighs> Your attitude has shifted considerably, Caroline. I see now that the harsh mask you wear during the fusion ritual is nothing more than a facade. What? Perhaps in your heart you have longed for the day the inmate would come to fuse the specified personas. <sighs> That's not true! What about you, Justine? You've been awfully chatty lately. I suppose you are correct. I've never heard you laugh before, Justine. You both clearly changed quite a bit recently. Perhaps my hypothesis is true after all. Yes. We have thought that if we complete the list, we would bring to light the intent of its creator. While we have overseen uh, the inmate, all the while considering the changes that have begun to appear within him. However, can it truly be said that the inmate is the only one who has changed? The completion of these tasks has also had a great impact on both my consciousness and my memories. No way. Can you say that the list isn't supposed to change the GA, but rather ourselves? Mm. I have no proof of that. However, if this list represented the will of our master, why has it fallen into our hands and not remained in his? It's gotta be some kind of joke. You tell me someone made it so they could change us, but why? What's happening? I hear a voice in my head. Wait, I recognize this voice. <laughs> Caroline? What seems to be the matter? You're behaving quite abnormally. Does something trouble you? Our apologies, Master. <laughs> Zin may prove to be too horrible a subject for you. No, the faults not lie with him. If he wants to reprimand anyone, let it be us. Caroline. I see. Very well. Continue onward with his re rehabilitation. Deep apologies for that brief loss of composure. So, basically, we got uh, more personas that we can make with the group guillotine now. So, yeah, just, we have a lot more things. Right. So, uh, yeah, again, this is one that I'm not going to have a write-up on, because I don't really... Well. This one doesn't really have much story to it. I mean, yeah, they're Stay changing well. a little bit, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, just to show off what we got new... Trumpeter. Uh, trumpet, we get... So now we actually have access to some of the... Uh, well, now we definitely have access to pretty much most of the ultimate personas. So if I go to Asura, for example, Asura is the ultimate one of the sun. Uh, it has the ability Atomic Hellscape. The special abilities of all of the ultimate personas are really, really good. Uh, decrease nuke by... A ton. Uh, Vosky, I think, has a really good one. Uh, increase the chance of inflicting the elements. Not as good as I thought. Uh, Chiyu increases the SP cost of Scythe skills. Yeah, a lot of these later ones are really good. Um, yeah, you just have a normal one. I'm trying to think of 
Yeah, we don't actually have too many that we can access here. I guess there's quite a few that are just, um, normally gotten. Uh, Chiyu, I know, is one that is an ultimate for Osha. Uh, actually, no. Uh, Sura is. Vosky isn't. Yeah, we don't have too many here, but still. Anyways, we need a Bugs with Samara Karm, so I will be back in a little bit when I have that done. And also have the one for level 10 done. Alright, so a bit of a change of plans, uh, because actually one of the better ways to get the rank 10 for strength is on our way over, is actually a reward from one of the requests. But before we continue, we do have a few more Persona that we've actually grabbed. Those being Legion, Queen Mob, Horus, and Yurlingur. So let's just start reading them off. The first one on the list is Legion. Legion is one of the more famous demons in the Bible. Uh, basically, the whole story with that is that it was a man possessed by a lot of demons. Uh, they called themselves... Uh, it was a, The name given to themselves was Legion, like the demon, like, hey, what up, my name's Legion. Uh, not exact words, but, you know. Uh, so, after that, Jesus eventually exercised them, and all of them eventually fled into a herd of pigs, which then proceeded to throw themselves off of a cliff. Uh, again, Legion, just a big story, uh, I believe... I, I, I do know a little bit more about Christian mythos because I grew up Christian. Uh, I believe it was in like the Book of Mark or something like that. It's a very, very minor story, um, but still does have the impact because it is a named demon. Next up is Queen Mob. Oh, also we had a few people level up. Queen Mob is an Irish deity of sex, fertil uh, sex, death, fertility, and war, and also is the uh, goddess of mead. She is basically said to be the reason why Irish kings either would succeed or fail, uh, and she was uh, part of her story, part of her whole shtick is that she is incredibly horny. Like, it's, it's fairly common for mythological gods and goddesses to be incredibly horny, um, and Queen Mob is no exception. She uh, had sex with a ton of people, and like she was always in a, an open relationship, but she was the only one that was allowed to be open with it. Uh, if, her, if her man cheated, then they died. So, uh, gender equality, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's reverse of what was usually the case back in them days. She then became a small fairy when moved over to when that story became adapted to England, and she does actually make an appearance in Romeo and Juliet. Uh, she's one of the queens of fairies, not the primary, not the primary one. Uh, we get a fusion alarm there. We'll see that in a little bit. I'm actually. Hmm. But yeah, we will go with Horus next. Horus is one of the more important Egyptian gods, and really. It's possible that he's the most, uh, most prominent Egyptian god. Him or Osiris are kind of the, the main two. Uh, him, Osiris and Ra, uh, should say. Bef uh, in the so pre-dynastic rulers, so before Egypt became like a super big thing, uh, they were ca all the rulers were the, of then were called followers of Horus. He was a sky god, a sun god, and the god of kingship. His eyes were the sun and the moon. Uh, his right eye was the sun, his left eye the moon. The speckles of his feathers were the stars, and his wings were the sky. He was also the god of sunrises and sunsets. And he, uh, he had a role as an envoy between the humans and the gods, particularly with his falcon, uh, which is how he appears on here with his falcon, which topped the Sarek which was a hieroglyph that denoted the name of the king. So, if you saw the Sarek, which, again, was topped by Horus's falcon, then that would be, you know, whatever was in those hieroglyphs was the name of the king at the time. So, yeah, Horus, pretty important. Uh, didn't honestly... F okay, well, I'm sure if I looked harder, I could have found more stories about Horus, but... Also, I want to not have these be 20 minute long lectures on every single spirit, 
so that's the excuse I'm going to use. Final one on our list is Yorlingoda. Yorlingoda is an Australian Aboriginal myth. Uh, they uh, they specifically say what kind it is in here, uh, which would be oh no I want to be on Haridi. Mernigan. Same one as McCoy. Um, so, Yelinger is weird. It's primarily a spirit of fertility and rain, uh, and it's also very, very interested, uh, it's very associated with menstruation. Um, so, there's one story about one that ate an entire, an ate a baby hole, uh, just kinda cuz. Uh, basically, it was two women who potentially were his daughters, don't really know. Um, one of them is trying to run from people. They had gone into the pool where he was just kind of chilling out, and one of them happened to be on their period, and then he got angry, ate the baby, and then a bunch of other spirits like, dude, that's not cool. You ate a baby and also two entire women whole. So spit him out. He did spit him out. So, yeah. Uh, Yerlingard is weird. But then again, everything in mythology is incredibly weird. Like, seriously, mythology is so strange. I have something. Just keep on driving along. Okay. Just wanted to fully explore this floor. I'll get to... Actually, I think I have time. Oh, I'll have time for this. Uh, there we are. Let's go and drive on in. This is Suda. Okay, this is Ewise. Right. So, uh, as for our mementos topic today, what we have is the combat rules that everyone fulfills. So. Obviously, we have party-based combat. That's a typical thing in JRPG, and everyone has their own different roles. So the question is, what roles does everyone fulfill? I will wait for him to have his little his preamble. So basically, um, I keep forgetting to switch to... Eh, yeah, whatever. Still haven't switched too hard again. But, as I am cutting myself off with, everyone has their own different combat roles. Joker is the jack of all trades. He has access to literally anything. If you have any weakness in what you have, you can just rely on Joker for that. That's Mr. Kakaja on Hariri. Ryuji is your physical specialist. He has the highest health in the entire game, meaning that he also functions quite well as a tank. He has very high strength, which can then lead to... I mean, it means that his physical skills can pack a massive punch. And he already gets some very nice skills. Um, like, his, his physical skills are already really strong. And he can just make them even stronger because of his ability. And we'll be able to finish him off pretty easy. No chance. Uh, so yeah, he is very much just a brute force attacker. You go in, you attack him, you're good. Morgana is your healer. Morgana is a really good healer at that. He is the best healer in the game. He gets a lot of access to pretty early game high levels of healing. Um, and... Because of his ability Proud Presence, he gets... It makes everyone's healing even better while he's in there. So we're gonna keep going. Um... Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, he's very good uh, at healing. Proud Presence makes healing even better. Uh, he also has the line of Critical Punches. So, Lucky Punch, Miracle Punch, all that stuff. There's a later one that will hit all enemies. Criticals are really nice. 
and having high magic plus proud presence plus a lot of healing skills, yeah, Morgana's no slouch at all. He's really good at healing. I personally am someone who likes having a dedicated healer in their party when I'm playing JRPGs, so I welcome Morgana. Some people are fine with uh, just like alternate healers or whatever. So, you know, that's just me. I personally find Morgana to be one of the best party members. On is your mage of the team. On is has the highest magic in the game. First three party members are very simple. They're just strength, healing, magic. They work very good as a team just by themselves. There's a reason that they are your first three. Fits in. Uh, she gets the early levels of her magic really early compared to everyone else, so she will reach Agadine before anyone else reaches uh, their dying skills. Uh, she'll get... Uh, yes. She's just really good. Ooh, concentrate. Let's get rid of Dream Needle. Then Heat Wave. We'll get to you in a little bit, Mr. Yusuke. I'm actually going to get rid of Tsukakaja. Uh, where am I at? Ah, right. Uh, so, she also has access to Dekaja, which is pretty nice to have. Um, it is... removes all... Dek which one is that? Dekaja is debuffs from you, right? I forget some of the names. Uh, Dekaja... buffs from foes. Having access to that is really nice. Um, it's... Hey, you know, it's, it's just very... it's... A nice extra thing to have. She's already good without the Kaja, but just having that as an extra thing to make her even better. Use K is when, when things start getting a little more complicated. He's also a physical specialist, having just only barely better magic than Ryuji, but he makes that up for by having some different skills at his disposal. He helps your team just completely avoid damage by increasing their dodge chance. He also has a- so, his- because of Scoundrel Eye, everyone is going to get hit less often, and he has a- He's a more specialized physical attacker. Ryuji is very much brute force. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit hard. Yusuke's has a lot more caveats to it. There's a lot more- If this, you know, with this effect, it can do this other thing. Very nice, Yusuke. He's- He's good at his job. Uh, so... Yeah, he, having access to counters is also quite nice. Um, means that when he does get hit, it's likely that he's gonna deal damage back to his opponent. Which, always good. So, it makes every time that he is hit count even more for him. And let's just burst that wall through. So yeah, uh, he also gets access to su the Sukakasha line which increases accuracy and evasion, so he can dodge even more. And he can help your team dodge more. I will give him Sukakasha when he has a Ma skill, or when he gets Ma Sukakasha, but he doesn't yet. Makoto is the fir is the jack of all trades. She's probably the most jack of the most trades, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but I'm going to tell myself that it does. Basically, Makoto can do a little bit of everything. She's got pretty good strength, she's got pretty good magic, she is, she works really well with Yusuke, An, and Ryuji because uh, Nuke is really good. She also does have access to, she's a little bit more of a defensive jack of all trades, um, where she, she has access to your healing, uh, your defense boosting skills. She has access to, uh, like, again, she's, she's more reliable at first than Haru, who we'll get to in, a, in just a moment. More initially reliable than Haru, but she does have a little bit of a ceiling. She also has access to healing. She serves as a secondary healer quite nicely. Uh, range, range act. Sure, let's get rid of double shot. Nuke break. I'm not a fan of break skills. Um, yeah, Makoto, very much a defensive jack-of-all-trades, where, again, she can do a little bit of everything, but she is 
more suited towards a defensive mindset, helping out others. Haru, on the other hand, is also a jack of all trades, but more of an offensive jack of all trades. Okay. She is the only person in the party to have access to gun, other than Joker, of course, and gun is really powerful. It's a bit expensive, but it's incredibly powerful. It's also, uh, having Psy is very nice if you decide to use stats elements. It's very much a finesse person where you need to think well about what you're using. You need to have her set up in order to utilize her to her full extent. Akechi, meanwhile, is just all around really, really good. Having access to Almighty is fantastic. Almighty, easily the best element of the game. Yes, it's expensive, but at the same time, it also has no weaknesses. Which, yeah, uh, duh. We're gonna take that. Um, he also has two elements, which is more than anyone else does, other than Joker, of course. Which is also very helpful, because, well, it means he has more type coverage than everyone else. Uh, he also just has a lot of really strong, hard-hitting moves. He's a little bit of a brute force character, admittedly, but he's also very strong. He's good at magic, he's good at physical. It's weird that they save the best for last. Now, Makarakarn. I'm gonna get rid of Amria to drop. What is Clamp to Corp? I don't like climbing stuff. And then Frutaba, uh, she's just support, she comes in when need be, uh, well not when need be, she just kind of comes in whenever. So yeah, that is kind of the combat roles that the party all fulfills. I think today was the sale day at the supermarket near me. Your budget's that tight? Uh, focus on the job for now. I'll try to be quieter while they're talking, try to let you hear some of the memento style, because they're... They're great, I love the banter, but uh, the banter is not what we're really here for. We're gonna get more stuff, and next time, fitting for a Halloween, in-game Halloween. This is not gonna be uploaded on Halloween, duh. So yeah, next time, we head in for another request. So until then, see you guys later.